Uh, you played at Reeser last year. Uh, what do you remember about playing in that environment? Obviously, it was a, a rainy game. Mm-hmm. For, uh, but what do you remember about that? Uh, it was, it's a wild environment. Uh, the fans are right there on you, uh, talking smack uh, real loud. So um, they have to come in there on our A game. But as far as the environment, they're real rowdy. They're going to be in there. Defensive backs so good at deflecting balls this season. I think 12 last week. That's, yeah. that's a high number. How much pride do you take in that? I mean, a lot. We emphasize it every day. Uh, even when practice, we come out there and do extra. Uh, we actually work on, we got to start catching them now and uh, taking them the other way. But um, we take pride in uh, whenever the ball comes our way, man, not not, not allowing them to catch. You give Jordan a hard time for not picking that one and taking it the other way. Uh, man, he was, we was talking about it yesterday uh, after the code. So we was talking about it. I didn't actually see the play because I was in coverage. Uh, but when I when I seen it back on film, I said, bro, come on now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we, we give him a hard time about it. That game you played at Oregon State last year being in that pouring rain, how much are you actually looking back on that? Because it's going to be a different approach because you weren't going into that expecting them to really be that pass heavy. Right. Uh, I mean, it's, it, they're kind of the same team with some of the same uh, schemes and tools or whatever. Um, so just just getting dialed in on the playbook, getting dialed in on what we got going this week and applying that to Saturday. Similar is what they're doing now to what they were doing last year. Yeah, it's, it's a few tweaks um, here and there. Um, they, they open it up a little bit more, but they're still a run heavy team. So we got to be uh, on our P's and Q's. What have you seen from their wide receivers got off to nice start number seven? Yeah, most definitely. Um, explosive player, um, can run a pretty good route tree, um, good yards after catch and everything like that. So we got to stay top down and uh, try to, um, you know, uh, hold him as, as much as we can. What are you doing as a defensive back to try to help you get ready to play a team that is so run heavy where it's not going to be as much on you as in the pass coverage? Yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, uh, since I've been here, the practices are already physical. We already work tackling a whole bunch. So just implementing that to Saturday. What's been your perspective of this rivalry? Uh, I mean, like you said, from afar, I, I haven't really seen it um, too close. So uh, I'm just going to be really looking forward to Saturday, see, see what, it, what it's really about. Somebody who's been a part of a couple of in-state rivalries before, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, was, what was the Bedlam experience? What was the Apple <laughs> Cup experience like? Yeah, uh, the Bedlam experience was crazy. Obviously, I have um, some familiar, familiarity with that, just being from the South. Um, that, that experience was crazy. The fans be throwing stuff at your, t at your buses and everything like that. And even when you get in there, it's, it's, it's legit like bad blood. So um, I'll probably be expecting some of that Saturday.